Uh, good morning. So I am from Ignu, academic counselor. My name is Rajan Biswas. So today, the course subject is their MMPC 011, the resourceful process and the behavioral issues. The, on the second semester part, seven semester courses, and this subject, uh, this course is very important. Uh, it is a fund, again, it is a fundamental for the management course, for the fundamental course. But even though it is a very important subject, why? Because it is the base of the management part. Because if you, if you don't know the social process, and the behavioral issues, then you cannot be a good manager. Because you have to have you know the organization's behaviors, you should know the, uh, the individual's behavior. Then only you can control and handle the people very nice. So that's why being a management student, you should have, everybody should have a you know this this such courses. So anyway, before start, I have to. Uh, give you an outline of the courses. Uh, in this course, that is a uh, four blocks and every block contains some units. Block one, there are three units and block one, basically the introduction of the organizational behavior because where the principles, what, what is the difference between the individual behavior Original behavior, everything are just different approaches, and what are the evolutions of the organizational behavior has been described. Caused a lot of changes if you go through the history. That what the way that evolution, lot of movements are happening. So everything are and has been discussed. Block two. Now coming to interpersonal. Intrapersonal process. There are two things. One is interpersonal, another is your intrapersonal. Intrapersonal process basically from the groups or maybe the other department people. So it is a very you know, uh, within the organizations, you have to different wings, different departments are there. So how to interact with this? And what type of personality you require. So that has been discussed. There are four units. Unit number four is the personality, value, and attitudes. Then unit number five is the learning and behavioral modifications. We are actually you see that as a human being, where is a learning process? Every time we are learning, every time we are uh, gaining the knowledge in a different ways. So, to achieve this and to reach that cogito conditions, we have to have a, some very real modif modification is required. So that part is to be discussed. Unit number six is perceptions and attributes. It's also required how to correctness of the work. At the, in a correct way, have to represent the things so that it should be conventional, should be convinced to others, and in the right manner. So everything are. Unit number seven is a very important unit because of motivations. When our mind and expectation demands are changing every moment. Because we are same nature of things if you are doing. But once you have learned the things, maybe you may not continue to learn further, or maybe you have to stop searching the things. So that's why you require some boost of some motivation. Motivation is also required so that you can go further and further. You can invention, discovery, and that should be continued, continued to be maintained. To do so, have to require some modification. Modification, uh, uh, 
uh, motivation is there. So block two are described in that. Now block three, where the interpersonal and the groups process. Here the group dynamics are prepared because every group, uh, how to prepare the groups, what is the meaning of the groups, and why it is required, team building, and as a team building, different mindset is required, different quality is required, the same uh, group, group leader is also uh, to be synchronized everything. So in a, in your organizations, they, are, they have, should have a main group because, because the talent, suppose particular one individual is there, he knows very well, but he may not be uh, complete the work in a single way. So he should require some of the groups, group of people is required so that he can perform in a better way and do the work nicely. But now the conflict. Conflict uh, um, uh, and the negotiation, another part is there where so conflict and negotiation strategies because when the people are working together there are chances of arguments debate discussions and expectations conflict so that's why the slowly it will come in the conflict and the conflict slowly uh, there bargaining and finally they complain and a lot of things are happening when the people are working together because different individuals have a different identity, their concept, their uh, uh, ideology, so everything changes. And then see the negotiation strategies because whatever the conflict is there, as you know, the conflict is always there. It may be a degree of uh, conflict, maybe less or high. So then in this situation scenario, how to negotiate, how to uh, take the good things to lead the pupils in one direction. So that's why some negotiation strategies are required. Somewhere the 50-50, I mean, this is the way you have to take your people, take your organizations in a uh, desired positions. Required. So negotiation strategies are not always required. Now, in unit, 10, in unit number 10, why we have to see some of the job stress? Because job stress is very important and it is very globally you see because when the employees are coming in the organizations, they are doing their jobs, definitely there is some lot of stresses in there. And even during the job also, uh, when in the learning process and when in the, in the office atmospheres, the stress may be coming in different sources. There are so many reasons for this stress. Not only for the uh, not know the work. You know. if, you, if you don't know the work, there is a okay, you can learn the work, you can do it. That is not so matters. But other things, the environment, social environment, um, your, uh, how to reduce the stress levels so that you can be good productions, good productivity can be increased. So individual's productivity has to be improved so that the organizations can be done. Smoothly, that is so. Job stress is very important, so that part of discuss. Then, the last block, block number four, is your emerging trends. Then, where it is in the all the units 11 to 15, all the units are uh, basically the empowerment, employee employment, then the uh, how to organizations, citizens, behaviors, organizational inclusiveness, all should be in a Considering the all these things, all the employees, even in the labor to manager and the top, everybody should be in an integrated way, you can do it. So, uh, it is demanding, emerging trains are basically, uh, it has been observed by the different way, and different authors and different companies. Now they have, uh, in a different way, their approach are now different. Or you can, you can see these are some emerging trains are basically new strategies. Is the emerging strategies are there. How to empower the people? How to uh, uh, inclusiveness of all diversity management? And the people are coming from a different way, a different type of cultures, different knowledge base, different uh, environment, upbringing, upbringing. So 
So all these things when acting in a particular one box and particular one organizations when they are working, so it is very difficult to manage them. So within this environment, within these things, how to manage that their diversity? Uh, and somewhere it should be some equilibrium conditions. So that should be in a one one platform. So that is a is challenging. Those so are all the challenges. Positive approach to work behavior. Whatever you are the work, yes, we can do it. We can succeed it. We can win these things. That type of uh, motivations and that type of approach is required. So this is the way all the four blocks are defined. Uh, and just try to give you the, some of the outlines of the things in it. Then our uh, today's sessions actually I have to discuss about the block one only. Block one uh, there and other blocks. Subsequently, the classes will be there. Uh, there are block. Two and block three and block four will be now block one where the unit one, unit two and one, unit three that we have to try to cover up to this. So first we have to see the uh, concept. There are the organizational behavior and there are uh, what are the approaches of the behaviors and the evolution history of the organization behavior that we have to discuss. Now see first we have to try to understand uh, concept of the organization behaviors. So there are some open systems. Institutional perspectives, society and organizations, and society and environment organizations, it's some of the interfaces of the social interfaces, the human behaviors. So that part are to be required. Because when you are talking about the behaviors, so there are a lot of foundation combinations are there because individual behaviors, when that individual to individual, where the way they are behaving, when the particular individuals are uh, putting in the particular in the group, what the way they have uh, gaming. So, this is a, a scenario, all the situation you have to see. And we are, when we are talking about the uh, social and organizations uh, combining the things, and then uh, in this case, it is just like a uh, work as an interface. So, process levels are there, that so many levels are there. And, uh, micro level process and the macro level process. When the individual part we are going is a micro level. Something about the human body. So when I'm talking about the eyes, when we are talking about the uh, your hand, when we are talking about the legs, these all are in micro levels because we are describing the, what is the function of the eye and what are the things. Then when we are talking about the complete human body, complete structures, then we can see the macro levels. The level will be different. So similarly, the individuals when we are working in the organizations, so we should know his behavior in vision. Then after that. That humans are interact with social also because we are the social elements. So then we are having discussion with uh, see the behavior pattern of your level of the society uh, level. So society levels are basically your macro levels and the individual levels are basically your micro levels. So micro and macro. Now challenging the society and the organizations. So on the Indian perspectives, we have to see what are the challenges. And, uh, society and the organization. That also, that would be number one. Okay, the concept has to be clear. Now, some interactions. First things, uh, individual terms you have to clear it. In the, manage, in the management subject, always you have to, what are the terminology, what are the words that come in? If you, the keywords, basically, if you try to understand the keywords, that is beauty first thing that can achieve the theme of the course is theme of the units. So organizations. So organizations, what is the meaning of organizations? It's simply we can see the people of the company name, that's not sufficient. You have to see where the people are working together, they are sit together. And they have some specific uh, work is there. Then is a common goal is there. So then different efforts there to be that you can say is there. So that's why it is written. It is a group of people who are collected to work for a common goal with their collective efforts. Organization works through the two concepts. One is the coordination and the delegation. I mean the group papers. You have to coordinate with the things because when you are don't know anything, so some bosses is there because the boss can give a coordination, he can give you some of the ideas. This is the way you have to do it. Guidance basically required for the group. Boss, that's why the boss. Seniors are required because they, they are knowledgeable. They are already uh, done these works previously. That's why that knowledge they have. So
So it is a uh, some uh, effect caused after five years. You will be also vanishes. So that things we have to clear in our mind. The, what is the you know, coordinations and the delegations? Because coordination specifically when we are coordinating to fulfill the particular objectives and the things. Delegation is different thing. But delegation is a power. How much power are given in particular group on the members? So that is the important. There are two things when you are combining that you can in the complete concept of the organizations. So coordination is required to achieve the organizational goal and the and your decisions. Now behavior. Other you have to clarify the behavior. What is the behavior? Behavior it is a verbal or the physical response shown by a person as a consequence of the impact. The impact on these or us have on this. When some uh, newcomers, new employees are joining in the company, maybe he has don't know where the room is there, where is the canteen, where is the uh, sitting place, uh, what type of table, what type of chairs will be there, or what type of people will be there. With that environment, he don't know. He is really in this low space, he is coming, he is observing everything from here and there, looking just hello, hi. So, that is the important the person and these consequences, uh, consequences, what the behavior he is giving, that is important. Then slowly, when we know this person's your behavioral pattern will be changed. Now slowly, the smile will be coming and try to convince him. We will mix up very fast. So all are the part of the behaviors. So it is the verbal and the physical response shown by a person as a consequence of the impact of this. So individual behavior varies in accordance with their mental reactivity. So what the way you are reacting the things, that reactivity is important. The particular circumstances, because of their deeply embedded models and the value systems, what the values are. Suppose when you are seeing any senior um, uh, citizens or maybe your uh, headmaster or the principal in front of you, differently your behavior will be change because you have to give some respect, maybe you have to touch his feet, you have to take his blessing. So that is a, a value of that is a value. And when you are entering the home, maybe the, you are, when you are seeing your mother or parents, others, so your behavior will change. Or vice versa, when you see your uh, some friends, some your friends has come in the home, maybe your behavior will be changed. Oh, hello, hi, how are you? So how long we have not met? To, so that is the way you have changed the way. So that is the art of the people. You can uh, individuals uh, performance because when you are entering in the office, you will be different. Behaviors. When you are coming in the home, you will be different. So, this is the responsibility and the uh, systems and the surroundings you part is changing. So, even the morning to end till your uh, night, you can see how much behavior pattern has changed and what the way you are performing, performing the things. You are almost surprised to see when you see the lot of behavior patterns. Actually, the morning my mood was different. Now, it's different mood. And what the way we are walking and what the way we are uh, reactions is also important. So now I am trying to um, emphasize here you know, what is the difference between the organic concept of the organizations and the behavior. That things are very important to understand that. Now, now you know, when you are accompanying the, 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 the organizational behaviors, now we have understand the into your organizations and the behaviors separately. Now we have combined the things, two the things. So organizational behavior, when we are talking about the OB, there are two things, organizations and the behaviors. But now the class, I mean the combining the two things, that means we expect, understand the organizations at the same time behavior also. Because when you are in the organizations, when a group of people are working in a particular, uh, doing their assignment, and to uh, focus on these particular jobs. So their individuals are what the way they are behaving to interact each other, to cooperate with each other, everything. And but to do this, so that is the concrete in the whole organization behaviors. So OB is the observation of the individuals, of the group of the behavior in the response of their individuals and a group of group as a whole. So it studies the behavior of the people 
or the group to know their attitudes towards the particular uh, circumstances. According to Robbins, there are now a lot of theories and theirs. Uh, they are one by one is given. The certificate has also have to be, uh, you can see there. The basic idea is this. So, organizational behavior is a field of study that investigates the impact of the individuals, groups, and the structures and behavior within the organizations uh, for the purpose of the applying such knowledge towards the improving the organizational effectiveness. So, different uh, authors, and uh, here in this case, the Robbins, uh, he has described the things in his own uh, theories. So, uh, there are so many others also. Another thing in the post covid world, now the COVID world, you see the corona, now it has gone, but still the effect is there. So it needs expectations of the individuals and the organizations are changing. So it is required to, a lot of changes are required. So in a recent, uh, you see the blacklist of the companies such as the SYT, Jomato, Amazon, and there are a lot of huge companies there, either there are some delivery partners are there, uh, there and the, there is a high workload and unequal, there is some pay is also not good, maybe some unequal pay is there, so unsafe the work conditions, there are a lot of things are going on, so that is has to be uh, required to change the things. The study of the organizational behavior is helpful in the understanding the nature, beliefs, needs, expectations and the behavior of the uh, delivery partners and the individuals, management and delivery partners as teams and the overall organizations. So, OV can be defined, uh, there are three, three key points. So, organization behavior we can define in three ways. One is your human behavior, number two, your organization behavior, and improvement of the organization's effectiveness. So, there are three things are combining, you can say, the organization behavior. So, scope of the, now what are the scope of the organization behaviors? There are three main focuses. First thing is the inter-industrial behavior. We have to see the what the way people are working in the organizations. They are really interacting or not. Team and the group of the interact interpersonal behavior. Then organizational structures, systems, policies, practices, and cultures within this that environment, that uh, that uh, uh, facilities, that facility are there or not. So you have to focus on these three areas. It is an interdisciplinary area field that derives the knowledge from fields of sociology, anthropology, psychology. There are actually all these things are required because socially you have to see it, sociology, you have to interact with the people similarly because we are in the neighbors and the other things and the environment. So you have to see anthropology is also required and at the same time psychology, your needs are also required. So it is all the things that constitute the applied behavioral sciences. Now, what are the objectives of the organizational behaviors? The scope of the organizational behavior can be understood uh, from the uh, different points. There are two uh, to find out the determinants which constitute the behaviors. To find out the particular cause and the effect of the relationships in the land, which can be modified and which can be done control. So first you have to identify the things. What are the relationships? How do, what is the effect of is there? Why it is not uh, in a streamline? Or why the conflict is coming going there? So you have to modify accordingly. So individual behaviors, um, uh, uh, relationships and their the pattern of the things are in, to develop more uh, defined and a workable sets to assumptions uh, that are directly relevant to the tax in the So, in our organizations, you have to see the development results, how to uh, perform the work smoothly and how to increase their productivity. So, it's directly uh, relevant to maybe you have to reduce some of the tax or maybe you have to increase the tax or maybe you have to give some responsibility or authority. So various ways are there how to manage to handle the things. Predict uh, human behavior in the organizational settings by drawing a clear distinction between the individual behaviors and the group members. So that's some sort of your distinction. Organizational behavior 
uh, that are making the judgment assumptions and particular situations. So, and we have to do the, their weakness associated with the organizations. What are the, uh, we can say the sweat relations, strength, weakness, opportunity, and the uh, threats. So, all these things have to know and uh, as the organization. In the present scenario, first things, uh, it is a concern about the first the behavior and the nature of people within the organizations. So, first things, uh, it is there in the in the micro levels, individual uh, behaviors. Secondly, uh, you should know the behavior of the nature of the organizations. So that is, and at the same time, the, the within this the social culture, political, and the economic environments. So all are the macro view. We can see the macro That is the progress. Significant. What is the significance of you? To get the productive work from the employees, managers, and must know how the people in the organization behave. So that is the significance. If we introduce in the particular organizations, so then we can say, and if we see that organizations are, uh, all the employees are behaving nicely, and uh, they are behaving individuals, there is no conflict, and their production is very good, the quality is good, so we can say yes, they have a good organization behavior, that is the significance. So significance means to get the product. So if we get these things, we can say yes, we have achieved, we have our you know, implement, it is implemented. Our organization behavior has implemented in our organizations because our employees are behaving each other very good. They are a productive, they are a quality max. So that is it. So it can be explained in a three head. Three head. There are you can explain the other understanding the human behaviors, controlling the controlling and directing the behaviors, and the organizational adaptations. Because you have to adapt at the all the things. What are the policies and structures and norms as given? That as early as possible, you have to add out the things. Obviously, it should be a, uh, good enough, it should be beneficial. Then, uh, the, uh, understanding the human beings and control. So, there are three ways, uh, three heads we can see, we can understand. Now, some of the open systems. The open systems of the organization behavior, the open systems, uh, focus on the external social constraints in the organizations. What are the constraints in the outside, the environmental region? That you have to see how to cope up the situations. So there are a lot of inputs from the social environment you have to read. To, to defining the things, the characteristics, and to uh, for the open systems, you require some of the inputs from the social environments. So transformation of the available energy and the export, exportations of the product in the environment and the cycle of the events also important. So uh, another uh, important thing is the existence of the information imposed the signals. But the open systems, any open systems you require the information and that information imposed the signals should be purity and should be relevant. Now uh, there are so many possibilities of this you can identify, you can characterize this in other way also. So it provides framework to understand the internal structures and the functions and the process which imply which are is a uh, your uh, governing both these external and internal aspects is done through the institutional relations. So behavioral patterns required to regulate the flow of activities and the resources between within the organization system. So I can say the other way we can explain it is the blood. When a human body, the blood is circulating from the uh, all the organs. So without the blood, you cannot uh, survive in our human body. So similarly, so that uh, things are regulate. If, if the blood is not circulating in all the portions, you cannot your activity will be less. You cannot your hand cannot be moved. You can your leg cannot be moved without blood. The same thing in the organisms should have a, some flow of activities. Then you can say yes, the organization is a healthy, is a healthy, healthy body. So it is very important. Now enterprises as an open system, 
and that engages in the continuing the exchanges with other enterprises. Now, Eddie Trust and the freight emerged. Uh, uh, there are so many uh, authors that are written in different way. They are explained in different way. So basically, there are four types. One in Uh, I'll just read out some of the important uh, theories. Uh, the variations in the environmental conditions will alter the difference in and input the technical core and the output components relevant to one another. So, uh, there are all our interfaces basically, society and how the environment and the organizations are in space. Now, um, Forty-seven. Society is a wave of social relationships, basics to which, in the human relations, human relations are interpersonal relationship between the individual and the individuals, and individual to group and group to group in both formal and the informal settings. Now we see there are the process. There are some of the process of technology. There are relation, uh, how to social relations can be achieved. First thing is the physical contact. Then another is your social contact. Then the awareness and the cognitions and the psychological contact. So that's the react, that contact has a social process in an important source. Or the human behavior at the work. Because you see, why the contact is very important? Because when a new employee are joining in the collaborations, when he entered in the particular department, if the other seniors and all the colleagues, they should say, hello, how are you? Oh, you have today joined you in the department. Very good. Welcome, everybody. So that is the way you feel some of yes, your belongings. So all the employees are very good. All our staffs, where you have to regular, you have to work. Everybody are very warm. They have to welcome you very well. So that is your physical contact. Oh, hello, you can see them. So when you are handshake or something or okay, you are sure, very good, clad. So when you see this, there are the feelings in his mind, yes. So that means we are not in a uh, very bad conditions. So the environment is very good. So that is very much required in organizations. Another thing is the social contact. Because social contact when you are in the environment, in the socially, so you have to neighbors are there, you have to contact with them. You have a lot of people and different type of people are. Uh, uh, surroundings you in your uh, positions. So you have to, from the seniors to juniors to, to children, everywhere. You have to see. If you, need, you go in the park, so there will be a different type of people up there. They are discussing in different topics. So you have to participate in this place. So that is the way you have to see the, your uh, social contact. Because you see the human is also you are in a uh, social elements. What is social elements? So you have to have a contact with the social. You cannot survive in a single, in particular one flat. You are staying in your house and you are not social, you are not contacted. Nobody knows you. And it's very different. Your behavior pattern will change. So, awareness. Awareness is very important because the knowledge are the first step is awareness. You have to question in yourselves what is this? How it has happened? But then, this curiosity, the curiosity will come to your mind. Then only you can harm the things. So awareness is very important. You should know where the surrounding is going on. That, that is called the awareness. Then psychological context is also important. Emotions that people are there. So you have to psychologically have to contact with some things. You have to console the people. Or maybe you have to happiness. You have to share your happiness. Smiles or console. So everything are 
things that uh, to change the human behaviors. So thus the contact as a social process is the important source of human, human behavior and the work. So in the work cultures, in the organizations also, all these things are very much needed. Now the adjustment and the accommodations. Adjustment and accommodations is another part is there. When you are suppose you are joining in particular uh, the new company, when you are in the new environment, new state, you don't know. So you maybe require some of the accommodations, you have to see their culture, maybe the different food. Because you are North Indian, you are going to, you are going to South India, their, their food will be different. So you are searching your fruits, which you are already uh, accustomed, you are habituated in particular this food, so you are not getting these things. So preliminary, in the initial year, different stages are coming, and slowly maybe after a month, one or two months, you have to settle there, you are taking their fruits, and you are adjusting the all these things, that is called the adjustment. Newly couple wife. Husband and wife, once you are, they are coming from the different groups, different families. Now, when they are joining a particular one room, they are staying and they have to eat together, they have to uh, they have to sit together, they have to work together, everything, they have to take the decisions, everything. So, need some adjustment. Without adjustment, then it will be no problem because the, what the individuals have different behavior patterns, they have a different ideologies. So, it's very so that's why there's some stages. It's different. So minimum level of living and the letting others in the Conflict. Now come to conflict. Conflict is conflict is such a thing, you cannot ignore it. It is a common phenomenon. It is because without conflict, the human behavior you cannot judge is also his emotions, his what type of his egoistic or his argumental life or his soft natures, everything are coming up. So during the discussions, when you are in the meeting or something, you see the different people are uh, saying in different way. Their opinions are also different. So conflict starts from this. So it is a significant social process which reflects in human behavior. It may occur in the interpersonal levels, in, in terms of stress caused by the organizational conditions. The cooperations. Now another aspect is the cooperation. So all of the determinants we are like, talking about. The cooperation cooperations cannot uh, uh, succeed the works. In the psychological, social and the cultural tendency to ability to receive the new facts and the realities. And the internalizes the different patterns of the uh, receptions. Then your uh, actualizations and the socializations. So process, this is all other process, different processes here. Yes. Spectrums, the whole, uh, whole uh, government and the this is spectrum of the uh, social process needs to be given from the integrated patterns, integrated way. You see the, uh, in, the uh, in the sky also, you see in the, if you give you an example, the sky, there is the sun, other way is the moon, then there are a lot of stars, cloud is going on, everything. And that is the total spectrum of the, uh, in, you see the universe. So everywhere is some of the, uh, some of the integrations of there. As soon as the sun is, uh, uh, night is over, sun is coming up. And the day is over, where, where the day is over, the night is started. So everywhere you see this all are integrated with so nicely designed. So we can see the compare with the uh, human uh, in the world, who is created in the universe in such a way. It's a big organization. Like I said, God is the early years managing everything. In time, in a totally disciplined way, he has not, I mean, uh, violated or maybe the any fault in the universe itself. Every day, morning, sun is rising. Daylight is given for the survive, and after that, the night is started. So, if you compare the things, how the good organizations do that. Same thing you have to apply in new organizations also. You have to time you reach there, you have to punctuality, you have to maintain, you have to work there, you have to give your efforts 100%, and you have to come. In the family also, you have to contribute the same things. So, full things, it is total spectrum. 
So we see the individual uh, various process of this. Here, individual existence, then you have internal uh, ethics, uh, role copings, group buildings process, intergroup in collaborations, organizational growth, uh, then your society value process. So everything are related. We cannot, uh, we cannot, we cannot skip one, any any things. All these processes are involved uh, for the uh, total uh, in the human behavior uh, issues. Now, uh, open process uh, need to be understand uh, in the social. Approaches, the meaning of the approaches, you know, there are so many models are there, and uh, fun or organizational systems, then you are managerial, uh, managing the organization behaviors. So, Ruby is the body of the knowledge, as I can say, and the people skills that helps the managers to understand, predict, what, the, uh, what is the thing you can do. The human behavior is the work. They are considering in this. So, body of the knowledge is enriched by the uh, social sciences such as psychology, sociology, anthropology, and economics. And approaches to organizational behavior that is the philosophy, policies, politics, laws, ethics, and the moral sciences, they are, they are considering this. Or some of the interdisciplinary approaches also there. So, this is the way you can um, uh, different approaches. So, in a uh, limited way, that is a uh, biological sciences like the human anatomy. You can say some of the genetics are there, the behavioral patterns are coming based on the genetics, and the uh, uh, physical and the environmental sciences. There are some influence in the organization theory also. A lot of theories are there that uh, are there. the modern organizational design, that are, that are one thing is the project designs and the matrix designs. So systems uh, view of the organizational behavior that is your uh, stimulation out to organizations and uh, your behavioral consequences. So which is uh, everything art which is universally accepted. This is all are the models basically and the design patterns. The formal organization systems. Now models are there are autocratic models and your uh, custodians models and the supporting model. There are different type of organizations there. Autocratic models managing this is a managerial uh, orientation towards the power that's um, the, basically the government organizations of bureaucratic natures. There are supreme all the controls are by the managers only. So there is the autocratic models like organizations of theirs. Custodial or the uh, parenteral models are there. This is where there is uh, uh, focus on the employees expectations and the security and the benefits, there are different type of organizations. Supportive model subjects, there are employees are responsible, responsibility there and develop and drive to contribute. There is a supporting, you have to give in to advance, uh, uh, they are taking care of all the employees' benefits 
benefits uh, employees development so that is supporting audience then your interactions of the uh, classical there has lot of movements as as i said lot of movement has uh, pre muslim era era then your muslim era and the british in british times and slowly a lot of movements is also uh, uh, so the behavioral movement the human relation movement new human relations and behavior science theories there are a lot of movements are that there is a evolution has come and new concept has also developed basically the at the same time new new concept has come how to better and better then after the finally the scientific management theories has come because during this period a uh, lot of theories has also developed or we can say that the discovered or uh, different authors has written in different way by their experiences and slowly you see uh, the division of the labor and also called as a um, work specializations now the labor code is there earlier it was not there and slowly it has happened the work done by the workers earlier what what happened the uh, it was by the uh, frederick taylor who noticed the employees was vastly different different techniques to do the same jobs so that time uh, it was, they don't know how to improve their the same machine same type of work so it is ultimately the slower because they cannot speed up the things and their knowledge are also not increased so no effective work standard so that say and, and also standard was not also there so taylor has made a clear guidelines for the improving the production efficiency how to increase the production efficiency what to be done and in a scientific way so that uh, speed can be come and the worker can be developed then their knowledge can be on more sharp and very smoothly they can work so standards are coming in this so develop the science uh, for each element of the individual then scientifically select the uh, train and teach how to train the employees and teach them and develop the workers so it has the four principle management and define the forms so it is slowly that all this i can see this all our backup on the support systems and the techniques are coming in the operation buildings this all are the developments cooperate with the workers at least so as to ensure that all the works to be done in accordance with the principles of the science and it's been developed so to divide the work and the responsibility among the equality uh, between the management and the workers earlier it was not there now the all these responsibilities and the works are distributed nicely and quality is also there so means uh, it, it has to be seen that somebody should not be overlooked some should not be underlooked means all the employee all the uh, should be um, optimizations optimization of the workers optimization of the time everything are uh, part of your principle of the management which is this relevance of the things important to uh, human behavior at work that is important what the way is human are behaving the things if some training is required some teaching is required some counseling is required immediately it has to be done. so workers viewed as a rational so this is a rational way of seeing it relatively the greater industrial and money are to be other high wages how is this it will be increased out then uh, it reduces the it reduces the time needed for the learning of the job if we do these things with certain merits then it will be reduced the uh, time it costs and the uh, learning if we the learning of the job subjects they reduces the another aspect is the wastage of the material studying the learning stage so if we implement the smiths division of the labor and it certain merits and divisions so it has happened so it allows the attainment of the high skill levels it allows uh, a more careful matching of the people's skills and physical abilities and with the uh, specific tasks 
Now the classical movements were also there. That is scientific. That is the part of this. There are two theories are there in the classical approach. One is your scientific approach, and another is your uh, book is. And so Taylor, Taylor, and one the there are criticizes that treating the employee because they have seen the uh, Taylors and others, Taylor, Pure, and the Weavers. They have observed the humans are not uh, treated as a uh, human. They are treated as a uh, animals. So, uh, so that's how they have realized the things. And uh, that is that the behavioral movement has started. Should be based on the group ethics rather than the individual. Individual potential is not realized earlier. Now uh, it is associated with the group. So when the individuals, you mean to say, are associated with the groups, their performance will be increased. So our ideas is the whole group today, and that that's why the idea is very good. That's why everyone as a group, the leader, coordination, all this world is coming because I am just not there because every time. If you feel I have to do things, if you start it in your own, you cannot finish it uh, as early as possible because you require some of the good things. Then only you can start. You can start the organizations. So uh, last uh, and tomorrow we will start the block number two. So I hope uh, we have finished out the block one, and then we can. Uh, uh, so anyway, uh, thank you very much. Thank you.